So I figured if Edmund were free, he would leave Springfield and take her with him. So that's why you sold him on the idea? I thought it would be best for all of you, okay? I just didn't think enough. I didn't take into account the feelings that Lorelai stirred up in Lizzie and Lillian, and obviously you. Okay. Well, see, see, at least you can see that. See, Alan is so stubborn and so deep in denial that he can't even acknowledge how difficult and how confusing this situation has been at times. I'm sorry. It's okay. It doesn't matter. She's gone. You're gonna... <clears throat> Don't take this the wrong way, but, um... You and Alan are actually very much alike. Oh, hey, that's something I wanted to hear. Uh, it's true, okay? It's true. In a sense, you haven't been able to let go of Beth, and neither has Alan. What are you talking about? Olivia, he, he let go of Beth the minute that he found out about Lorelai. That was... That was like that. His words to me, as a matter of fact, were done over. Forget it. Pretend it never happened. Did you hear anything he was saying in here? No, the, the book on Beth is closed. That's my point. For him, a clean break is protecting himself. Protecting himself from what? From what? having to re-experience the pain of her loss. Oh. From having to be reminded every <laughs> single day of how much he's going to miss her. Aren't you going to miss her? I will, yeah. So what are you going to do about it, Philip? It seems to me you can you can keep brooding over the what ifs and, and be living in the past, or you, you can um, make a choice to move forward. Personally, I vote for moving forward. Yeah, well, you're not the first person to give me that advice. You know, maybe, just maybe, if you could find some way to let Beth go, then maybe Lizzie can too. Yeah, maybe. Beautiful woman with business papers. This could be a picture by Dave God. What are you doing here? I came by to say hello. Yay. And goodbye. Mm. How was your trip? <laughs> it was fantastic, successful, wonderful. What do you mean goodbye? I'm leaving. Yeah, I know. In a couple of months. Tomorrow. What? I changed my plans while you were in Rio. I think I need to get to Hunley now. Get an apartment, a job, just get settled. Okay, let's talk. <laughs> I mean, really, what's, what's um... What's the rush? Well, you may see it as a rush, Liv, but I kind of feel like I've been dragging my feet, see? I have to go. It's... It's my time. You know, I have to make my move. You know how that is. Yeah. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> okay. I might. Still partners? Are you kidding? Forever. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. I'll write. Yeah, well, you better. Otherwise, I'm going to track you down and, you know, take away that motorcycle again. <laughs> well, then, if I don't write or don't call, then how would you know how uh, to find me? Boy, you're smart. <laughs> so, did you um, say goodbye tomorrow? Ah, yes. Um, yeah, a couple weeks ago. You know, it was pretty low-key, which I think is best for her and, and me. Well, I... 
I'm sure it's hard for you to leave her. No, it's hard for me to leave you. See, I'm in trouble <laughs> because you've been my conscience and my guide. Not like you ever listened to me. No, I never listened to you. No, I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Sometimes. Well, my favorite cable repairman. Oh, well. Sam is um, off to journalism school tomorrow. Oh, is he? Mm -hmm. Well, good luck. Thanks. You too. I guess I better get going. Come on. I love you, sis. I love you too, Sam. I miss you. So I guess we're all up to date now, huh? Yeah. That's the way I like it. Ciao, Bella. Hi. You all right? Yeah. Would Alan combine and deliver another dose of that legendary Spalding charm? No, no, I just, Sam came by to remind me of how silly and pointless my projects and deals can be sometimes. Hmm. He's heading off to journalism school tomorrow. Hunley? Right. Yeah, it's a good school. Yeah. Very good school. Yeah. Maybe in between writing leads, he'll find time to write for me. Who knows? I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will miss you as much as you miss him. I don't think so. Are you looking for the other one? Oh, uh, no. I know where the other one is. It's in Mexico. Oh, my God. Those are best shit. I saw her wearing those. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, this was in her closet. I was just packing up some of her things to give to Lillian. I figured it was a step towards letting her go. It's good. Step, how appropriate. Um, you know, Philip, I really think this is going to help the whole family move forward. You, you, you found that shoe when you were looking for her in Mexico, didn't you? Yeah, it, um... I don't know where it was. Last place anybody had seen her. It's the only trace that I could find of her. I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, one shoe never means anything good, does it? Always means that something is lost or broken. Forgotten. No. Are you kidding? I mean, the whole Cinderella the, the slipper and, you know, the prince had the one shoe and it led him back to her, you know, because it could only fit his one true love, right? And it did. So that's a happy thing. <laughs>